We took friends and supporters of our programs on this uh, geology tour to some of the most fantastic geology in the world to learn more about how these uh, rocks and all, all the fossils and everything formed. There's an awful lot of beauty here and the, uh, the sand, you know, there's so much sandstone all around here in the western United States, uh, just mind-boggling how much sand was, was deposited. Think about how you erode something like this. How do you erode these canyons? Okay, the usual picture is that it rain and you know weathering over eons of time wears that out. But if that's true, why don't you have at the base of these cliffs a lot of debris lying around that should collect? These have been swept clean. And some people recognize that means it wasn't, it had to be quickly eroded out. It's staggering, in fact, to see all these marvelous formations and you just can't help wondering, how did they get here? What staggering forces of nature brought them and put them there and weathered them into these magnificent shapes? Just to hear them talk about, you know, all this amazing things that we're seeing and, and to hear that, yeah, you know, they are finding out things that are, that are true and that, and that can support, you know, creation in different ways. We are taking formation after formation, uh, going carefully up through that formation, looking to see how much burrowing there is. In other words, if there was a lot of burrowing, it's an indication you need some more time right there. If you don't have any burrowing, it says, no, this didn't have any time. This, this happened very fast. And if there had been really millions of years here, um, those layers should have been all torn up by, by animal burrowing in, in the rocks. You see this bottle? This has 10% this has hydrochloric acid in it. Okay, so you take your acid bottle and you drop it on it. Okay, you see a little bit of fizzing action there? If it fizzes, it's limestone. If it's sandstone, you can just feel it and it feels like sandpaper. But if it's finer than that, it doesn't feel like sandpaper, then you want to know if it's silt or clay. Clay is a fine, real fine particle, silt are a little bit coarser. So how do you do that? Well, let's see, is there a dentist here? You need to, you need to look, you need to look the other way for a minute. You, uh, you grind it between your teeth, if it feels gritty, it's silt. If it feels smooth and slippery, it's clay. So now you know how to do it. Let's, let's have each of you try it now. What it's done is allowed us as Seventh-day Adventist Christians to process um, why it is that the biblical story of creation um, isn't just something we believe in just because it's in the Bible, but it has credibility because the things that we're seeing on the trip, apart from the beauty, um, bring credibility to that story. All you can do is just marvel at it and see the hand of a creator at work.